Um, knowing and having spoke before, I know how it goes. Generally, when you're working on a message all week, there's a bunch of stuff that you can't say hmm. because you don't have the time to say that. Like, is there anything that you can tell our online community specifically about this James thing and about applying scripture huh. that would be helpful for these guys? Yeah, I would say uh, first and foremost that you need to identify whether or not you're in a storm or you're a storm chaser. You know, some, some <laughs> of us, yeah, right? I mean, because some of us, God has put things in your path. He's put a storm there because he, he's, uh, it's, it's, it's making you grow. But some of us, the reason we're in a mess is because we're just, again, like I said today, we're just being disobedient. And so I would say you have to discover which one you are. And the only way you can do that is just simply by digging into God's Word, getting that accountability in your life when you're talking to people, and getting wise counsel. And so that would be my, my big thing for people is, because uh, if you're a storm chaser, the, you, your life doesn't have to stink. I mean, it can, it can be a... Uh, you can it can be a real, very successful life in every way, and you're not you won't be considered lucky. You'll be considered obedient. I heard a guy say at a conference, Jason. He said, "God is not uh, you are not responsible for your success. You're responsible for your obedience." And I'm like, man, that is so powerful wow. for me. Yeah. I'm not responsible for my success. I'm responsible for my obedience. And man, there's power in that. And so be obedient. Be obedient. Okay, so let's say that um, we've got, and this was actually something that came up in the chat about people who feel like that they are obedient, but yet they're still suffering, okay. or they're still going through a rough time. And while it does say in James, if you apply this stuff, you will be blessed, mm -hmm. or you will succeed, yeah. and all that. So how do you reconcile those two concepts when people feel like, is it that they, they, they just they think they're obeying and yeah. they're not? Or it, yeah. is there something bigger that's at stake well, that's going on? Yeah, unfortunately, we all have microwaves where we can put a hot dog in the microwave and hit 15 seconds and it's ready to eat. And a lot of times we think our faith is like that in our life. And what it seems to be a long time for you, probably if you were to honestly look at it on a timeline, it's probably not that long. And so I would say if it's a storm, again, a true storm that God has put on you, God's the time manager of that. You're just, you, you are just required to be, again, obedient, be faithful. Now, if you've been a storm chaser and you brought this stuff on yourself, Unfortunately, unfortunately, you may be facing the consequences of that. And uh, it's, again, it's just, un again, unfortunately, it's life. You just may be reaping the consequences of bad decision after bad decision. But that doesn't mean that you're not continuing to be faithful as you move forward in this thing. And so I would encourage you to persevere. Listen, don't quit. Man, everybody else quits. You can't quit. You have to keep moving forward. And listen, God is faithful. God is faithful, and I would just say, don't, don't stop being obedient because you've been obedient for two days straight, and nothing's changed for you. You know, it's a daily obe <laughs> right. daily obedience, and right. so that would be my encouragement to you in that. Okay, guys. Well, uh, Matt, thanks for sharing and for Please. taking this time with us, dude. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and discuss some more about this in the chat. So um, I will see you there. Fucking no. Bye, guys.